Ali Tap, and I'm currently in 12th grade at Benostava. Hi, I'm Shoshana Benasharov, and I'm currently in the 9th grade at Benostava. Hi, I'm Leah Fagan, and I'm in 11th grade Benostava. Hi, my name is Ariella Seeger, and I graduated from Nostavora in 2011. I chose to go to Benos Devora because I felt like the intimate, personal environment that was there could really help me grow as a student and as an individual, and there were lots of opportunities for leadership. I chose Benos Devora because I was really excited about having a small school with a lot of individualized attention. I get to be a leader in all different areas. I get to be a leader in the classroom, asking questions, giving my ideas, and I also get to be a leader in student council, I'm vice president, choir, um, spearheading clubs, and color work, captain. They also have teachers who are so um, caring and involved with their students personally. They make sure you understand the topic and they, they just make the class so much fun. Like it's fun to be involved in the group discussion. Everyone's really warm and friendly. All the teachers are really nice and you build a connection with all of them. The teachers and Mechanachats at Benos Devora are incredible. They really try their best to give us the individual attention we need. It's so nice that we get to have so many amazing teachers who are always there for us whenever we need somebody to talk to, to go to coffee bean with, to spend time with out of school, and in the classroom as well. They're always there to answer questions and meet with us personally, and it's really, really nice. I chose to come to Benos Devora High School because of the great education it offers, uh, both with the religious studies and the non-religious studies. There's definitely a wide range of academic opportunities. There's AP classes, honors classes, and in addition, if there's a class not being offered, you can take it online. There's a girl taking two APs online. That's really great. And on the other hand, there's also for girls who need extra help, there's Title I and people, girls can meet with teachers was geared towards the grade level in our class. If we had girls who needed more attention, the attention was given to them. If there were girls who needed more of an advanced curriculum, that was given to them as well. They were able to perfectly balance both sides of the levels of the class. The Judaic studies at Benos Tabora are a good combination of intellectual and spiritual because we have all the texts and we study everything in depth but our teachers also try to connect all of our lessons to our lives. At the end of the day, my education is the best it could be. Another great thing about Minos is the electives they offer you. You can choose between Microsoft Word, Art, and Drama. Where they, where they have professionals in those fields teaching you new things that you've never learned before. We have so many fun trips and activities. We did a Tasha trip, we went to the beach. Student Council surprised us with Ari Goldwag. We have singers come, we had a moon bounce this past week. Shabbatons are fantastic. We have really inspirational speakers, um, beautiful areas. We did it in Malibu and in San Diego, so nice. The body and student council really worked to make the school year fun as well as balancing the whole academics. We went to Mulligans, we went to Sky High, we went to the Museum of Tolerance, we went rock climbing. The student council is always 
preparing and organizing very amazing events during school where we can either dress up as twins on twin day. We also had career day where we got to dress up as kind of who we want to be when we grow up. There's different things all the time. On some Fridays, we would go to the Beit Midrash and we would sit around in a circle in a kumzitz and we would sing um, songs in honor of Rosh Chodesh. It's just a very nice thing to get the whole school together, sitting in a circle with like everyone's so happy and cheerful. It's it's a very nice experience. I feel like after I graduated Benostavar, I still continue to go back and visit because they're my family. Like I know they want to hear about what's going on with my life. I want to hear about what's going on their life. Their life. They want to hear about how much I've grown, how I'm excelling, and they really do care about us beyond just the eight to four forty school day. You know, they really. We are a family, and that was a great part about being in Buenos Aires. <laughs>